Hi, I'm Michael. Hi, I'm Bonnie. And today we're going to show you how nonprofits can utilize volunteers for Salesforce to manage their volunteers within their organization. Uh, this video is a continuation of a video we made uh, a week or two ago that showed uh, what volunteers for Salesforce look like from the administrative side. And in this video, we're going to show volunteers for Salesforce from the uh, volunteer side. We created a dummy organization called Food is Medicine, uh, just kind of as our example org that we loaded some data in um, both volunteers and from the administrative perspective. And just as a kind of global, um, global thesis of using volunteers for Salesforce, the big benefit here is that um, as an organization, uh, you'll have one single source of truth where you can manage both your donors your volunteers and your clients, uh, as opposed to using disparate systems if all the data wasn't living in Salesforce, um, where you would have to pull information from different, uh, different databases. So by using Salesforce, it, um, in the, at the end of the day, it makes it much easier for the organization to pull uh, data about the people that support the organization. Uh, with that being said, Bronnie, do you wanna walk us through the uh, volunteers for Salesforce from the uh, volunteer side. Sure, Michael. So the last time uh, we saw about the admin console for volunteers for Salesforce, where we saw we, uh, we saw about events, we discussed about um, um, adding uh, shifts for the events and uh, signing up volunteers for those, finding volunteers who match the skills, the required skills, and then about the, the reporting that is available. This week, we are going to see more about how to engage the volunteers by themselves. So the volunteers can uh, uh, basically interact with the nonprofit from an external website. So we had created a, a sample site for this one, for food is medicine. And uh, the first thing that the volunteer can uh, do is see available uh, jobs that are available. Uh, so here we see the, the ones that are available uh, in April and in May. So I'm going to sign up for uh, a cookie making uh, job that is available in May. So my name is Prefils, so I'm just going to sign up for this. And once I sign up, for this, this immediately reflects on the Salesforce console for the user, for the admin. So I'm going to go into campaigns. And for the Mother's Day Meals campaign, that's going to happen on May 8. We see that there is this cookie making job and then there is one member that has already uh, signed up me so and once they sign up the contact also gets an email so there is an email that is sent to the this user so you can see that there is a, a thank you mail that was sent sent for this uh, user so once they signed up so after that the volunteer uh, can also see the job calendar So this basically shows a calendar by month and uh, here are the available jobs and shifts in March. Something in April, there is one in May. And uh, from here as well, the user can, the volunteer can sign up. Then um, the volunteer can see uh, his or her personal information here, like their volunteer, like availability, the volunteer skills that they have, like chef, pre cook, or guest check in, or baking. And uh, if they have some new skills, or if there are some skills that they want to remove, they can always do this. So I'm just going to add a new skill to this volunteer. And also, I can update my availability as well weekends and mornings, see. Um, plus, it also shows about the 
the upcoming volunteer shifts that I am scheduled for, then the recent volunteer history that I already worked on. This is the graphical view of my volunteer hours that I have put in. I can also report uh, my hours that I saved. So I can select a, a job that I worked on and I can uh, select the shift and enter the hours that I worked on. So once I enter it, this goes into Salesforce and at the same time, I can also view that information here as well. So um, there are a uh, certain sequence of emails that goes out to the volunteers once they sign up or when they complete an, uh, an activity. So all those uh, emails can be configured. One second. So those emails uh, can be configured via the email templates that are available on the admin console. So this gives a lot of flexibility for the admin to just put in whatever they want in the email. And this can be mass emailed as well uh, with the merge functionality. And uh, the same information can be taken out to an external site as well. So like uh, the calendar page or the log volunteer service page. So all this can be uh, again uh, integrated into an external site so that it matches the theme uh, of that site. So the main uh, advantage uh, is, as Michael said, there is a two-way two communication between uh, Salesforce and this external system so that whatever happens on both sides are updated on the other side. Over to Michael for you. Thanks, Brani. So um, just kind of looking at what we could do for your nonprofit uh, with volunteers for Salesforce, we can help configure the pages and content in the, in the volunteer portal. We can integrate the volunteer portal with Salesforce. Uh, we can help with volunteer signup reports, email notifications. And if you have an existing system, uh, we'd be more than happy to audit and update any of the uh, existing uh, tools that might be needed for volunteers for Salesforce. Um, thank you for watching this video. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email us. And if you like the video, please click like below. Thank you.